Canadian photojournalist Michael Bednar is on a mission he didn't expect. I came to do a story on the Quechuan culture and the indigenous cultures of the Andes. But things took a turn when then-president Pedro Castillo was arrested, accused of staging a coup, and his former running mate Dina Bolwarte took office. I arrived in Cusco on December, December 7th, the day the coup was started. And now that indigenous Quechua group he came to photograph is at the center of the deadly demonstrations. He says his images help capture what's really happening. The people who are fighting feel like they're fighting for democracy because they feel like it's moving towards a dictatorship. He says the group is calling for elections to be held this year and a referendum on a new constitution. Meanwhile, Peru called on citizens this week to report social media users suspected of supporting or inciting acts of terrorism. The majority of the people are simple people who are not terrorists. He traveled with them on a dangerous two-day journey from their community to Lima where many are staying in spaces like this one, surviving off donated food and supplies. University of Toronto student Andrea Roman has just arrived in her home country, which she believes has reached a boiling point. A general kind of like assembly of workers of Peru has called for a general strike, uh, an indefinite general strike, which means they haven't said three days or four days. Um, and they haven't done that for the last 20 years. There were demonstrations like this one across Peru Thursday commemorating the 18 lives lost in a single day last month. They're implying that indigenous people are going to be treated as terrorists. Therefore, violence is allowed against them. University of Alberta professor Jorge Sanchez Perez, who was born and raised in Peru, has a warning about the racial and economic tensions. We live in a system where exploitation has become the rule. And if we don't face that fact in different parts of the world, what's happening in Peru can be replicated. I think it's important to have international eyes on what's happening. Bednar, who sold his home and many of his belongings in British Columbia for this trip, remains committed to showing the conflict to the world through his lens. Nitu Garcia, Global News.